What's up guys, I'm Chinzo, and today I'm camping at the Trona Pinnacles, and these views are amazing. Stick around. If you ask me, today's adventure starts out on the five mile washboard road. It takes you out to the Pinnacles. Vast salt flats, and stunning mountain views made this a really scenic drive. The road itself is just technical enough to make you slow down, but it's traversable for most vehicles, even if you're not very off-road savvy like myself. I was happy to find there is plenty of room to camp out here, especially since I arrived on a Monday. So, I took the opportunity to drive around and explore until I found the perfect campsite. All right, not too bad. I think I can live with that. Let's try side to side. All right, well, that's pretty good too. All right, guys, so I made it out to Trona Pinnacles. The drive out here wasn't too bad. Coming from Phoenix, it took me about six and a half hours to get to Ridgecrest. From Ridgecrest, I just hopped on 178 towards Death Valley, and then I just kind of followed the road signs. I think the first turnoff was about 17 miles down the road. It was marked, and then uh, I kind of just took the dirt road all the way out here. It was about five miles or so. And I chose this site because I wanted something a little bit different. Uh, this site is pretty open and exposed. Uh, but I really wanted a nice, expansive view. But yeah, I think I'm done talking for now. I'm going to go set up camp. I always get pretty annoyed with myself every time I install this because I always put all these swirls and fingerprints into my paint. But then I take a step back and I'm like, well, who cares when you get a view like that? So when I first got here, I did take a lap around the area to check out all the different campsites. There's some really cool ones up near the Pinnacles. There's some really nice ones way back there, and there's pretty much a lot of space in between all of the sites out here. I chose this site because I wanted something different from what I've been doing previously. Usually I tend to lean towards campsites that are more nestled in boulders or kind of tucked away somewhere cozy, but today I wanted a really big expansive view. Um, it was just nice and open. This site, as you can tell, is very exposed, so there is a lot of sunlight and pretty much no shade except for what my truck is casting, but as you can tell, that's been enough for me, but it's nice. I, I wanted to try something different and uh, the views are absolutely amazing. Um, I do got to chop some firewood so I can get a fire going for tonight. I definitely want to grill some burgers. I brought my grill with me for that. So I'm really stoked for dinner, but that's the plan for today. Other than that, I'm just hanging out, having a good time and I'm glad you guys came along. <sighs> Man, that was a good nap. I haven't really talked about this much, but have a look at this. It's just me out here. How awesome is that? All right, so it is golden hour and I'm about to start dinner. I've got my grill situated so that I can do two of my favorite things at the same time. I'm gonna grill and uh, watch the sunset.
see how these Brussels came out. They're a little crisp on them. Oh yeah, nice and soft, perfect. Well, that was one hell of a meal and one hell of a sunset. I think I'm just going to hang out by the fire for a little while before I call it a night. I uh, actually would really love to just hit the hay right now. I've been on the road since about 1 a.m. I got on the road super early so I could make it here by sunset, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty worn out. But before I call it a night, I am going to try to take a few shots of the sky and uh, see if I can get a good, good shot of the stars tonight. Um, I told myself I would take a swing at it. We'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, I'm going to stay up a little bit later to do that. And then uh, can't wait for bedtime. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. It's about 8 p.m. right now. And I can't tell you what a relief it is to uh, not have to worry about staying warm for the night. It is about 55 degrees right now, and the temperature should drop by about 15 degrees at some point during the night, but I'm not too worried about that. I can survive that pretty easily. Um, I'm just ready to go ahead and hit the hay. I'm, uh, I'm pretty worn out, so I'm not going to make this a long good night like I usually do. I'm just going to go ahead and say good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. So I forgot my coffee filters. So the coffee's a little bit dark, but still gets the job done. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I wanna go take a closer look at those pinnacles over there. So I think I'm gonna hop on the bike and uh, go do some exploring. Let's do it. Safety first. So there is a lot of sand and really soft dirt, but this rocky area actually has a lot of grip. Pretty nice about that view. That's really sweet. And that was fun. Woo! Hell yeah. What a cool view coming up from here. You can just see just how wide and expansive this site really is. Such a cool, unique place. All right, guys, so Chona Pinnacles. It was fun. It was unique. Um, it's very isolated. And uh, I gotta say, this is probably one of the most photogenic places I've ever been to. For someone who's kind of learning the ropes when it comes to photography and kind of pushing my limits on um, certain things with uh, content creation and filming, um, this place is just really inspiring, you know? It makes me wanna, you know, try to capture every scene perfectly. I will say for my first uh, dispersed camping experience, this one's gonna be really hard to beat. Um, I was never really opposed to dispersed camping. I always just kind of took comfort in the fact of, you know, having a reservation for a campsite and maybe having a shower facility nearby. But being out here and being away from it all and being, you know, 20 
or so miles from the nearest town and being super far from the nearest campsite. You know, it's been really fun. I've got everything packed up and I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back to civilization. But before I go, I do wanna invite you guys to stick around so you don't miss out on the next adventure. As always, thanks for watching, stay stoked, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.